Cookies, my babe. I love bunch of cookies. Oh, yes. How many times is this gonna happen to me? I need to fix this right now. I don't know about you, but I am fed up with this. So I actually emptied out this Danish cookie tin and I'm gonna make my own butter cookies so that I know how to refill it anytime. Before anybody in this house puts more crap in it, more needles and threads, more, more markers and pencils, I, I just can't anymore. So making butter cookies, it's gonna be super easy. I have these beautiful Christmas sprinkles here. And not only are these great for to refill your butter cookie pans, but also these are great gifts. So it's kind of a recipe that you guys can use throughout the Christmas season. And maybe it could be a nice little treat to give away to the office or at school or wherever. So like I said, really easy. Let's get started. So to start, I have eight ounces of softened butter here. And truth be told today, we actually don't have any unsalted butter. So this is actually salted butter. So, a little bit stuck to the bowl here. This is salted butter and that's fine. We just won't add any extra salt to our dough later on. So just gonna clear that out. And to this, I'm adding three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. So adding that right in. Now I'm just gonna cream this until it's slightly pale in color. So I'm using my handy dandy hand beaters. If you have a stand mixer, please feel free to go ahead with the paddle attachment and give that a good cream. All right, so our butter and sugar has lightened a bit. It's nice and fluffy and creamy. So next I'm just gonna add my egg and the vanilla essence, going that right in there. And I'm just gonna beat this until it's completely incorporated. All right, so it's very important. You just wanna beat the eggs just until it's incorporated because if you overbeat it or you add too much air into it, the cookies will puff up and then they won't get that nice shape of the piping designs that we're gonna do in a few. So next, I'm going to add two and a quarter cups of cuisine all-purpose flour. And I'm just gonna stir this in with the mixer. And then to help push this along, I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of cuisine full cream milk. All right, and so that is our dough. As you can see, it's almost like a paste and that's exactly what we want. We don't want it to be too thick or like dense, like if we're doing rolled sugar cookies, because we're doing piped cookies, we wanna be able to squeeze it out of the bag nicely and for it to kind of hold a shape. So here I have a piping bag fitted with a star tip. It's not tiny, it's actually maybe like a medium sized tip. And if you use a small tip, obviously you're gonna have to be straining yourself to kind of get things through and you might even bruise your bag. So you can get these at cake decorating stores or in crop stores, this might have these as well but they're very much available or yeah, craft stores. So I'm just gonna load some of my dough into the piping bag and my piping bag isn't the biggest today, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to do this in batches. So I'm just gonna push this down, squeeze it right into the tip. So I have my piping bag that I've prepared, ready to go and filled with our cookie dough. Then I also have a cookie sheet here that has a little silicone lining on it. If you don't have a silicone baking mat, you can use parchment paper or wax paper, but just make sure that it's lined with something. So now I'm just gonna do a couple of designs and I have some beautiful Christmas sprinkles right here. And then I also have granulated sugar as well. And that's gonna be our decor of our butter cookies. So 
This is the first one I'm gonna do. It's gonna be like a little bit of a wreath. So I'm just gonna go around. Voila! Then we also have like the good old star that you can do just like that. If you have children, this is the time where I'd bring them in and they can go crazy with sprinkles and decorations. So now I'm gonna go crazy because I'm the only kid I see around here right now, so. So because we needed them to be a certain texture to pipe, the dough is actually a bit warm and we don't want them to bake warm or else all the butter will just like leach out and they won't taste how they should. So I'm gonna pop them into the freezer for about 10 minutes or so and then, then I'm gonna bake them at 350 for about six to eight minutes and then these are ready to enjoy. All right. So these are the final batch, just came out the oven. It smells like a bakery in Denmark, although I've never been, but it smells delicious. I'm gonna let these cool, I'm gonna stack up this tin even more, and I'm gonna try one of these bad boys. So many delicious cookies fresh out the oven i can't even put the lid on so i'm just gonna leave it right here that way it's not a tea fed we all know exactly what's in it and what's inside is nothing short of delicious so without further ado i'm gonna take this little star right here so cute imagine if you just give out these in like little bags with ribbon for christmas delicious little treat So buttery. There's nothing like fresh baked sugar cookies straight out of the oven. Butter is nice, flavorful. Simple flavors. The little sugar on top gives a nice crunch. And golden brown at the bottom. So good. It's too easy not to make for yourself. Come on. Special thanks to our friends at Cuisine for sponsoring my cookie refill and this video. Cuisine products can be found at Massey stores nationwide. And until next time, next time come by and have a cookie now, gosh. And it's always a pleasure having you with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.